Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Greta and I love to talk about fragrances and sometimes some other luxury goods. Whew, sorry guys, I was like a little light on social media the last week or two, really. I just, you know, I've been trying to play catch up with life, honestly, like the real world. I just needed to tend to a lot of stuff and I, I just needed to focus my attention there to tend to a lot of things and it's like spring cleaning I did spring cleaning indoors and outdoors it's pruning and planting season I had a declutter I will have that video for you too I hope that came out okay I had to do it twice because I got interrupted by work um it's just been nutty so I just you know I have to prioritize sometimes in my my personal life will always will always prioritize over my channel sorry I think that's just how it should be um, but I do hear you guys, and I do hear um, that a lot of people are trying to change their finances a little bit. They're trying to find more affordable fragrances, and I'm all for you there. I don't think you need to spend a lot of money to have a good fragrance. I just don't think that's true. I think it's easier to find a good fragrance amongst the niche offerings. However, I'm working really hard these days to find you guys affordable gems because they're there. So with that, I have today some of my all-time favorite fruity floral fragrances, which is what I gravitate to in the spring and summertime. And honestly, I am also more about decluttering these days than purchasing. I have hundreds of bottles I really don't need anymore. And I'm working on circling back around to fragrances I bought like a year ago. For the last year, I have been sniffing and buying and sniffing and buying and sniffing and buying. And I, I wanna enjoy a lot of those. And honestly, I did a really good job last year with my acquisitions. There's a reason I never decluttered a lot of them. I love them. I just didn't wanna be redundant you know, as I'm exploring. And I really was exploring the whole niche world of so many different brands. But I feel like I'm at a place now where I can look at that vast multitude of brands and hone it back in again and be like, look, this is what you need. These are the good ones. These are the ones that are also mass appealing and have incredible quality. So, but today's list is going to be some of those that I really think are great and I've circled back to and some affordable ones that I have never decluttered because they're quite good. So that's something you're interested in. Stay tuned for that. I wanna say a quick shout out to my subscriber, Tim. Tim, my thoughts and prayers are with you. I know you recently suffered a loss and you know, I, I miss, I've never met your mother, but I already miss her. I know you bought a lot of fragrances for her and the granddaughters are really, really lucky. So this list, fruity florals, I think they're really going to like. Just thinking of you, babe. Mwah. Okay, so what kicked this one off is actually a new sample, believe it or not. I received a beautiful little box from Dora Fragrances. Um, your prestige fragrances there in LA of all these little samples which was so delightful because they were all new to me and this one by Memoirs London called Humanistas I sprayed it and instantly five other fragrances came to mind wow this is in the realm of I'm not gonna say because they're all on this list and I thought you know they came to my mind so fast because they are truly favorites of mine and I love that type of fragrance. Um, and there are more well-known names too that I've featured a bunch. But this one is a beautiful, it's, it's a passion fruit. Now I happen to have ordered a lot of passion fruit over the last year. It's a beautiful, like, I wanna say even guava, but like passion fruit, guava, peachy, brightness of citrusy, but you really get that bright floral, uh, bright fruity that you would get like with Herba Pura or even like Kirka and all these beautiful fruity fragrances. It's excellent. I, they probably sent me about two mLs, maybe two, three mLs. I got to wear it on my arms. I don't like judging 
longevity that way because I, I do tend to find generally the longevity doesn't last when I just have a 2ml and I'm really conservative with how I spray. If I have a bottle, I spray generously and I will get a lot of longevity, but I felt like I didn't get the longevity from this like I do from some of those other bottles that I have. However, like I said, I'm not holding it against this because it could just be my conservative spray. But I like this. And it has this pink icing note in there, which I think is kind of cool. Because like I said, I like these girly fragrances this time of year. I get really girly with the fruity florals. So it's just, um, the winter time I get more unisex and woodsy and things like that. And I'll lean, I'll lean a little bit into the men's because I like those spicy, woody fragrances. Patchouli's and oud's, like I like that warm stuff. But in the summer, I, I do lean more to the female girly girl spectrum. I like this one. Um, I would get this. It's a little redundant to these. I think like if you have them, either either you're that person that likes that profile and collects them all in that profile, or you have a wide diversity and you don't need that because you're trying to have a simple diverse collection, then you don't need this one. Just putting that out there. I want to say really quick that if you like this type of content, please give me a quick thumbs up. It means a lot to me. It's how I know that you're enjoying it. Um, and consider hitting the subscribe button. I love when you guys subscribe, guys. But in order to really know that I've put a video out, you need to hit the notification bell. So thank you, guys. So the next one up is by Zerjoff, which you know I absolutely love. I have not given enough attention lately because I gave so much attention last year. My collection has not budged except for one fatal charm I decluttered, but Herba Pura. I mean, there's a reason people compare to it. There's a reason people say there's dupes to it. There's Al Haramain dupes and every company wants to be compared to them because they're, they are the benchmark. And circling back to it after having tried so many others that are just like it, I realized just how good it is. It is smooth when you open. There is no brash opening like some of the Middle Eastern brands. And it's a beautiful, vibrant fruit basket of fruits that I love. And it opens with a citrusy blast like that first five seconds, like so many fragrances do. But it's literally a fruit basket like you can't identify. You can just sit there and probably pop off about seven different fruits you might detect. To me, it's a fruit bowl of just fruitiness. With that cliche Zerjoff vanilla musk base with the body of like an amber so it really does project and last. It's a beast and such a mass appealing beast. I love this. I wore this yesterday. I had to go to an event. I was really bummed that because I changed my clothes, even though I sprayed up my skin, I changed my clothes to go to a concert and forgot to spray myself because I was so upset about some other news I had just received that I forgot to spray myself. And because I changed to an evening purse, I didn't have my little Ziploc bag of diverse perfumes with me that I always have. I have to tell you, I was disturbingly upset by that. Like it's disturbing that it affected me that much that I was that like, I had to keep reminding myself, it's perfume Greta, you have some on your skin, it's okay. It'll be a few hours, like it's okay. But yeah, I was a little bummed that I forgot to top off my perfume anyway. I do love this one. Now, similar, kind of a flanker, is the next one, which is also by Zerjoff, and it is a Selfridges exclusive that you can order online wherever you are, it's how I got it, is Herba Gold. Now, Herba Gold is duped with Al Haramain Amber Oud Gold, is what they call it. They call it gold also, gold edition, I think. That is literally their brash version of this. And again, this one is Juicy Fruits. This one, I can tell you, it's similar to Herba Pura and it has that same DNA base, vanilla, musky base, that body of an amber, but it's different fruits. So the fruits in here, I like to think of as orange fleshy fruits. Like think fresh peaches, fresh nectarines, fresh apricots, not the kind from a store, the kind from the tree. Like I have an apricot tree. They're very different. They taste like peaches. Like it's it's phenomenal, the difference between store-bought and off a tree. They're, they should be ashamed what they sell in stores, honestly. They taste like 
rotten fruit, but this one is delicious and there's something very sunshine about it with those orangey yellow fleshy stone fruits. Stone fruits is really what I'm looking to say. Phenomenal. Love this one to pieces. Another one I have circled back to that I just love, and there's a few more that I never did purchase that I love from the collection, is Louis Vuitton Corbatant. If you like Livius Bell, you like the way that pear note is in there. It's a beautiful fruity floral that highlights pear the same way Livius Bell does. You'll like this one. It really fills the room. Um, I think it lasts longer than Livius Bell. Livius Bell is really loud when you spray it and then settles down where this really um, seems to keep going a little bit more. Again, more pricey. And I think they also, like so many companies, just raise their prices even more. It's crazy. So if you're budget conscious, I can tell you that um, I do also buy the dappers. I don't have a relationship with them, just so you know. Even like the link I use is a customer referral code, which gives you a discount in me points. Literally, that's it. Um, but I really endorse his his Louis Vuitton ones. He has the Atrap Revs, which I really like also, and Matier Noir, which means Black Matter, which is more of an oud one. Goes a different direction, but is a really good compliment getter. But, I mean, these you can get like $30 or use one of his discount codes and they are really good. Or a decant. A decant is another way to go. I highly recommend taking the more affordable methods. Um, I think I need to spend more time on that with people because I don't think people realize how financially conscious I really am. Just because I can afford these things, I'm extremely financially conscious and make spreadsheets before I order these things. And I look for the best price and I only do it when it is surplus in my budget. I don't sacrifice, I don't need to sell a perfume in order to buy new tires for my car kind of a thing. So I highly endorse the more affordable measures. And I have a ton of decants for that reason too, that I know I'm not going to use more than five to 10 mLs of a fragrance. Why would I buy all a hundred? It's silly. I have enough that I need for decoration. I do understand the bottles are beautiful on the shelf. I have enough. You probably do too. You probably do. You probably have enough to make a beautiful display and at this point you don't even have the room to add more just saying let's keep it real okay another affordable one that i absolutely love and has been a ride or die for years is super cheap on the discount sites don't buy this from ulta i'll put a link to ulta probably because it's what i can find linkable however Buy it from the discount sites for like $35, okay? Instead of 100. Dolce & Gabbana's number three, La Impertrice. Super affordable, beautiful, fruity, floral, watermelon. I love this one in high heat because it's like watermelon is a watery fruit. So it's kind of this aquatic-like fruity floral, a watery fruity floral that has that smell that even when I can't smell this, I always swore that like this was gone instantly because I can't really smell it much, but I've I done drive throughs and gotten compliments on my perfume and I'm like, wow, thank you. You can smell it. That's kind of cool. I like that. Um, it's beautiful and super, super affordable. And again, it's not too much in super high heat. Can you hear my stomach growling? I've been on a diet too. I've been trying to work out and diet, which is also digging into my time. Yeah, I love this one. Super affordable and will always be a favorite of mine. Um, great for like if you're vacationing by the beach too because it's got that light thing. If you're going on a summer vacation or a spring break vacation, this one is amazing. Another one I absolutely love. Um, this one, okay. Tiziana Terenze Kirka. Kirka gets compared to Herba Pura, and I've actually done side-by-side -side tests like a year ago, comparisons for my viewers. They open the same. So in the first 15 minutes, you'd be like, oh my gosh, they're identical. It's only the opening. They then go very different directions and are very different perfumes. They're both amazing. 
this is one of my most complimented fragrances. It does open very fruity. You have that passion fruit and peach kind of opening here and also pear. I get a lot of pear in this. Now what happens is you just get this fruit bowl with that vanilla musk in, in um, Herbapura. With this one, you get a lot of that pear note. And you also get that vanilla musk, which you get in, in Zerjoff. However, it just did, um, there's patchouli in here, which gives it a different density, I guess is the way to put it, from the Herbapura. It just diverges where it stays that fruit bowl with Herbapura. And this is more like pear and patchouli. Um, again, similar to Livia's Bell, if you're used to designers, I'm gonna try to get back to comparing to designers as more people are getting into the niche fragrances. But I absolutely love this one. It is such an easy reach. It is super mess appealing. And if you like fruity florals, the men love this one because it's a sweet fragrance on women and it carries in the wind. It carries on you. It gives projection, sillage, all of that. Super compliments on it. Another designer that I think is really good and I've never decluttered um, there is a whole lot of flankers in this series, and they just recently launched a new one. It is the Givenchy Irresistible Collection. This is Live Irresistible Delicios. Delicios? Delicious? Delicios? It's reflective, so it's hard to read. I think delicious. Delicios? It's really hard to read with this metallic thing and the lights reflecting off it. Sorry. Um, but this one I've had for a couple years from a discount site. I think you can still find it. It's basically like cakes and sweets and fruity florals and a super sweet, delicious. Like if you have a sweet tooth, this is like your cupcake, fruity, floral, delicious, delicious. They have a new one now. Uh, this is an EDP, but they have this new EDP out, which I think is just live irresistible and it's a little more sparkling i haven't tried that one yet it just came out i saw Soki london talking about it she's so cute um, but pretty much this whole collection is really good in girly fruity floral fragrances and super affordable that even i have this in my collection i haven't really used very much because i have a lot to choose from but i um i won't give this one up i think it's a really good one when you're just feeling youthful it's definitely youthful. Youthful, fruity, floral, um, you know, I love it. Another designer I absolutely love and will never give up is Gucci Flora uh, Gorgeous Gardenia. Absolutely love this one. I hope they don't discontinue it. It's another one I absolutely love in the summer, in warm weather, in spring, beautiful warm days. Like spring is weird, right? You're like freezing cold, snowing, and then you're in a heat wave. We have had the mid 90s all week. We're in a serious heat wave right now. And then next week is supposed to be super cold again. Like that's just how it is. But I love this one. It's gardenia fruity floral. Like I love gardenias, especially in the spring and summer. I think it's a beautiful, elegant, feminine floral fragrance. It's, it's just so happy like and again, it carries well in the heat because it's not cloying at all. It's a lighter fruity floral fragrance that works well on sunny days and in the heat. There's something almost refreshing, sweet, fruity floral that I like. Man, that smells so good. I think I'm, this one is also really popular with men. It's mass appealing. It is great, mass appealing. Men love this. Men like sweet fragrances on women. They really do. The next one is also by Tiziana Terenzi and it's Cassiopeia. This Cassiopeia, the star, I love it. It's in the Luna collection because it has to do with astrological Cassiopeia being one of my favorite stars. I always wanted this bottle. It's always sold out, whatever. I was really happy Royalty Sense had it because honestly, these eight to 10 mLs, whatever it is, seven, eight mLs is honestly all I need. I'm never gonna use more than that. Oh look, it's still in the paper. I did have samples of it. It's been on my spreadsheet for a while looking for a good price. And by the way, if you see 30% off on some sites, it doesn't necessarily mean it's the best price. I, like I said, I keep a spreadsheet of the different stores and what they have that I can see if it's truly the best price. 
sometimes their originating price is higher than that 30% off is still higher than the price it might be somewhere else. So don't fall for that. This one opens with that fruity passion fruit, which I happen to really enjoy. It opens really fruity, you get a little bit of the citrus instant blast. You get that beautiful fruitiness with a floral mixture in there. And then that base again of a vanilla musk sandalwood base, but you always have that fruity floralness in there. It's a really pretty one. Uh, there's also a little tonka and sandalwood to give it a little creaminess to that base. But again, it's in that realm. You got the humanista, you got the herbapura, the kirka, the cassiopeia. They all have that passion fruit, fruity floral kind of a thing going on. They diverge a little bit as they dry down, but they have a lot in common. If you like one, you're going to like the other. How can I not mention my one of my absolute all-time favorites? Like... If I had to pick 10, we know, we know what I'm going to pick, but Armani C, C Fiori. I mean, I just love this. This is a 50 ml and then I have three 100 bottles. Like I panicked that December, 2022, this discontinued in America. I understand you can still get it out of the country. However, they've already now the discounters have it because they've collected it all from the stores, sent it to the discounters. Um, it should still be at FragranceNet. I'll put a link there. But um, yeah, black currant vanilla musk is essentially what it is. This one is the only creamy, fluffy, creamy one from that C collection. The other ones are more crisp, more translucent like of a fragrance. They don't have that, that weight of this one where it's a more creamy vanilla musk. Absolutely love this one. There's also orange blossom in here that you get Super compliments from this one. Very girly. Absolutely love it. Men love this one. I love this one. Um, I don't know why some people that don't don't like this one. Like they say there's something in here they don't like or whatever, but this is just grand slam to me. Grand slam. Absolutely love it. Next up, one of my fruity floral. Ugh. The next fruity floral that I absolutely love this time of year and I need to spend a little more attention to, it's been ignored this winter, is Kajal's Lamar. I do like this one. It opens very fresh, vibrant, like green apple and citrus fruity. Okay, so there is that green apple. There's also a really sweet pineapple note that is really prominent here. It's a thick sweet with a little bit of tart to it. There is cranberry, but to me, it's just this tartness that could be citrus, it could be the green apple, but this tart and pineapple. Oh yeah, there's like the green apple, a little more fresh. I love this fruity opening. It is so delicious is what it is. There is a dry down where the florals start to take more of that center, chain, center stage there and it's more of a fruity floral. And then it starts to dry down into something that's more of like a vanilla woody kind of base, vanilla woody musky kind of base. Um, it does have the body of an amber, so you do get that like projection from it, a little like a lot of oomph. Um, but again, a really nice fruity floral that actually changes from fruity floral down to more of this like woody, creamy vanilla base. But Love the opening on this super vibrant, fruity floral that I like. If you see a good price, it's worth it. The last one uh, is by Zerjoff also, and it is La Capitale. This one is a beautiful like strawberry peach one. Uh, if you like Cruz del Sur 2, which is more of like a mango peach one, this is similar except different flavor and people don't have that issue with it smelling weird to them. This one's beautiful. It's got a thick syrupiness to it. This one, I don't know about in high heat, but it's great in your normal spring summer lineup. It's a beautiful fruity one that um, is rich. It's definitely a more richer syrupy fruity fragrance that is amazing and delicious. I love this one with again, the zero drop DNA that is so amazing that has this certain undertone to it that's really addictive to me. That is my roundup of some of my favorite fruity florals, including some really affordable options. And I hope to see you in the next one. Mwah.